guys, it's Neha from Far From Standard Tutoring. Today I wanted to talk about titration. The purpose of titration is to determine the unknown concentration of an acid by its base. We do this by using the following formula. We take the normal number of an acid times the molarity of an acid times the volume of an acid and set it equal to the normal number of a base times the molarity of a base times the volume of a base. All we have to do is isolate our unknown using algebra and solve for the rest of the equation. Now the normal number is just the number of reactive species in the acid or base. In an acid, for example, like HCl, our reactive species is H+. So here our normal number would just be 1. In an acid like H2SO4, our normal number would just be 2 because we have two reactive species. For a base, our reactive species would be OH minus. Now, how do we do titration in labs? Well, we take a beaker full of acid and indicator. So here we have our protons flying around, which is our acid. And the indicator we're going to use today is HI. This is not to be confused with the strong acid HI. Now, a commonly used indicator in many labs is known as phenolphthalein. We take a puree filled with base and combine it with our beaker full of acid and indicator. Now, as soon as our base touches our indicator, it dissociates the bond in that indicator. So, the equation is as follows. HI dissociates to H plus and I minus. Now HI is a colorless solution, whereas I minus is a colored solution. As soon as the base hits the HI and dissociates the bond to form I minus, we see, we see a splash of pink color that forms, but it goes away very quickly. This is because since we're in an acidic solution here, there are lots and lots of protons flying around. So the I minus quickly binds to one of the protons and goes back to its original state as HI. Now the reason for this whole reaction is because we're trying to reach our equilibrium or our neutral solution. How do we know when this happens? We need some kind of indicator to show us. So when we reach a slightly pink color in our solution, we know that we have a neutral solution. This is because there are no more protons left for the I minus to grab onto to turn it back into HI again. So the solution remains pink. Well, now that we reached our equilibrium, we have collected all the data that we need and we can plug it into our equation here and solve for our unknown. Alright guys, that's it for today. Stay tuned for some more of our videos and check out our website at www.farfromstandard.com. Bye!